I'm Tom Hardy and you're watching the Venom Vlog. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog. And today we want to talk about a couple of new things that have come up about the Venom movie, uh, Let There Be Carnage, over the past few days. First up is this new poster that popped up about a day or two ago, and I know a lot of people were sharing it and talking about it, which is really awesome, and I think it's a great looking poster. It looks really cool, the V, all the characters in place and stuff. Um, normally I don't like Photoshop jobs like that, but they actually used real photographs and you know, kind of put like a filter or something over them to kind of add a little bit more texture and depth. And so I, I kind of liked the, this image overall. You know, it's a, And with the V in the background is very cool, and having all the characters out there is neat. Um, and But I still do like a lot of the images that were picked from the talent contest I thought a lot of those were really cool and I'm hoping to see those pop up in movie theaters as well as stuff like this um, but I think they are just mainly using that for online promotion and maybe like a few comic stores will get 11 by 17s of the talent house ones the winners um, but we'll see I'll look for them online and hopefully I can get a couple of them for the wall and stuff um, but then we also got these cool images from the movie and there was a lot of stuff that came out so I'll pop them up there you know in like five second increments so you can see what these images look like I've been sharing some of these on my community board so some of you have probably already seen these um, but if you haven't or you want to comment on them definitely do that down below let me know your thoughts of these images that are from the film that look amazing shows more detail in venom and his design um, and also carnage as well and then we also get cool looks at shriek um, which is awesome and then some other characters in the film like Anne Wayne and then we also have Detective Mulligan who a lot of people are theorizing might become toxin in this film I think that'd be doing a little too much especially with symbiotes but who knows? I, I hope they just keep this to like, you know, Venom at, versus Shriek and Carnage. And then maybe we get another appearance from She Venom at some point. That would be awesome. Uh, but along with those images, they also had some behind the scenes images from Andy Serkis that went up. So I'll share those here now so you can see those. I thought they were great seeing, you know, Andy and his element and, you know, directing and, you know, thinking and, and kind of, you know, analyzing stuff and just seeing all these great images. I thought they looked fantastic. So I wanted to share those here too because I have not shared those on my community board. But I want to thank all the Venom Instagram accounts out there. Obviously, I'm not on Twitter or Facebook, so I don't see anyone's hard work on there. So if you are doing hard work on other forms of social media for Venom, thank you. You're, you're amazing, and I love you, and you're, you're you know part of the family. We are Venom, right? Um, but the people I do see on Instagram, like uh, I Spy a Symbiote, um, Symbiote Gang, and then obviously uh, Fillmore Antidote and all of our other friends, uh, Old Man Venom, and uh, you know just all these Ryan, you know, Ryan, all these guys, um, you, you're all amazing. Like all of you who share Venom stuff, Lonely Symbiote, who shares her artwork all the time, Grace Tom, who shares her pictures of Tom Hardy all the time, and all the Tom Hardy fan accounts. Like, all of you are doing amazing work. You know, I know I'm not as active on Instagram as I used to be, but uh, when I go back and I check in on Instagram, I see all of your wonderful posts and I try to like as many of them as I can. And you're just doing amazing work, spreading the word and love of Venom and everything to more people and hopefully recruiting more Venom fans, yeah, for sure. Um, and speaking of Venom fans, I actually had one reach out to me, um, our friend Talon B on Instagram, also known as uh, It's Your Boy. He reached out and sent me a DM telling me about an update on the Venom website. And on the Venom website, they actually listed a rating for this film. Can you guess what it is? Uh, boom, there you go. It looks like this movie is PG-13. Now, I don't know, I mean, this is the website, it's the official movie website, so I would imagine this is official. It's certainly official enough for me to report on it, um, but uh, I don't know if it's, you know, I haven't seen other websites run stories on this. I haven't seen Variety or any of the big trades talk about this. Um, I haven't seen this listed on IMDb. I think they listed a, a two-hour runtime on IMDb, but I think that's been there for a while. That could just be a placeholder until we know the actual runtime. So um, so I don't know. It seems like, and it looks most likely, which most of us knew this was going to be, a PG-13 rated movie. And I know that's going to upset some people. But you are all going to just have to deal with that. Uh, I've been trying to prepare you for, I don't know how long, a year now, uh, over a year, since we've been talking about the potential rating for this movie. And I've been trying to prepare and ease you all into being okay with this being PG-13, the people that want it to be rated R. Because I think you wanting it to be rated R, it has always been very unrealistic to me. Um, and some of you took your, you know, your passion for that rating too far and actually bullied other people in our community in our venom community and that was completely unnecessary and very childish and stupid i mean just so stupid it's it's a first of all 
this is a movie, all right? Like, it's not a way of life. It's not like anything like that. Um, sure, I love making Venom. I mean, it's kind of a, a way of my life in a way when I make videos for it, but really it's connecting with you guys and sharing information and getting everyone's opinion on it and sharing my opinions and things like that. Uh, but the it, it is just a movie at the end of the day. I even This is coming from a guy who's made over 650 episodes about this movie universe and the comic books and everything that ties into the character. And I'm telling you, it's just a movie. It's not worth bullying someone over. That's the dumbest thing in the world. So if you're out there and you're part of that in our fandom, you know, you're not part of this side of our fandom. You can go off somewhere else where they allow that kind of crap to happen, but you're not part of this. And I don't speak obviously for the whole community, but I'm sure a lot of the other people who do speak for this community would also agree you don't belong here. Um, so, you know, seeing that vitriol from people was insane to me like you know seeing kids getting bullied and young younger people getting bullied uh because they when would watch my videos and say oh okay yeah seek has a good point here's all the reasons he listed why this will be a pg-13 movie so i agree with him and then they you know verbalize that they agree with me and then other people come in and go no you're stupid seek stupid uh this is going to be a rated r movie you can't make carnage without being rated r and yet all the evidence we showed uh, that Carnage has only been in, well, my, with like two exceptions, two comic book exceptions, Carnage in his almost 30 years of existence. It'll be 30 years old next year, Carnage will be, in uh, 2022. And for 30 years now, we've had Carnage in T-rated and PG-13 books. You know, books. I've said this a thousand times on the channel. Like, you got a lot of you are probably sick of me talking about it, but Carnage has mainly only existed in PG-13 and teen-rated stuff. So to sit there and say that he can only be done in rated R has always been a stupid comment to me. It comes from a place of passion for sure, but blindness as well. Um, it, you have to look at all the source material, you have to look at the first movie and its success, and there was no way they were gonna risk after the success of the first movie changing the second movie's rating to rated R, especially when they have plans to involve Spider-Man later on, and they're not gonna put Spider-Man in a rated R movie. <laughs> like, they're just not gonna do it. There's no need to do that. Um, you know, so to me, I just always thought this whole argument that people had over this rating was silly. So the PG-13 rating does not shock me at all. I, like I said, I've been trying to prepare people for this for over a year because I knew this was gonna be a struggle for some of you fans out there that are more passionate for an R-rated uh, you know, film but I knew you weren't gonna get it. And it seems like you're definitely not now if the website is posting PG-13. Unless that's a mistake in the movie, you know, unless they update their website in a few days and then I have to put my foot in my mouth. Uh, but chances are, I mean, this is pretty legit. Uh, seeing this rating on the website is pretty legit. And I'm pretty sure soon enough people will start reporting on it because we're less than a month away from this movie. So I'm sure if they release any TV spots or another, you know, trailer for it or, you know, any more images or new posters, they'll probably put the ratings and stuff on all of those starting very, very soon, as long as they stick to the October 15th release date. Stop worrying about what the movie's rated. It looks like it's PG-13 now and we can, you know, put that to rest. And now we can just hope that it comes out on time and maybe we can unite, you know, let all the fighting be in the past, and let's unite as Venom fans because we are Venom, right? Don't bring that toxic crap or that that kind of anger and angst and, and, and that level of blind passion. Don't bring that to this community. I mean, that's not what we're here for. We're here to have fun. And at the end of the day, we should not be fighting or bullying each other or yelling at each other over simple things like ratings or anything like that. That, that takes away the fun nature of being in a community like this and and uh, you know and, and sharing our opinions with each other and that so I when I saw all that stuff though uh, like a couple months ago and then you know popping up here and again I it bothers me it really does um, because we're we're better than that I mean we are like let the Star Wars fans fight each other let the Spider Man fans fight each other it's too late to save them uh, but the Venom fans we're still in our infancy as far as like we're still a niche fandom and as these movies get more popular we're growing. And we got to nip that stuff in the bud now and not be like other fandoms who get awful. Um, but that's just my opinion. And, and now we got the rating of the film, PG-13. And we got these great images and a poster and hopefully uh, a release date of being a month from now. Um, I hope that sticks. <laughs> Fingers crossed that it does. Uh, that we're like a month and a half away from Venom Let There Be Carnage. And uh, yeah, I, I, I just hope in a month and a half from now I'm seeing the movie and preparing my review for all of you. Uh, so let me know what you think of these images, of the stuff we talked about today, of the rating, any of that stuff. If you have an opinion, as always, keep it chill. Leave it down in the comments below. And as always, we'll continue the conversation down there. Thanks so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you in the future. Peace.